today we're going to continue our talk about minimum wage and we're going to focus on people that were previously making just above minimum wage before a new law went into effect. Someone very close to me was in this situation. This person did not have advanced specific education in any particular field and was making minimum wage or just barely more. And that was all that was, you know, looked like it was probable in the future. So this person said, no, I've got a family to take care of kids. I want to do better in life. And so she took about a year long uh, course in gaining a new skill that she can use. And rather than being paid seven or eight dollars an hour as her previous uh, ability was, now with her new ability, her new training, her new skills, she was going to be able to command $10.50 an hour on average, which is a nice raise. That's what, a 20% raise or so? That's, that's great. And so she went through this year's effort, working full time, going to school almost full time, two children, rearing them at the same time, taking care of them and, and, and her husband, her household duties. And she worked it so hard for a year, learning, building up these skills that, so that she would be able to earn more. During that year, a new law went into effect, raising the minimum wage from seven fifty an hour or eight or wherever it was up to $10 an hour. What does this mean? Her value per hour is still worth, now that she has completed this course successfully, her value is still worth $10.50 per hour. She is only going to be making 50 cents an hour more than if she hadn't put forth all that hard effort, all those sacrifices over the last year. Now she's going to be getting paid almost the same, almost the same as the person who did no extra effort. Is that fair? So then what's going to happen? Perhaps her boss is going to say, well, now we have to give a raise. Whatever raise they give to her and everyone else in her income bracket that, that makes what she does in that business, that is going to raise the prices of the product. Now people are going to have to pay more. And then people are going to complain and say, well, it's just too expensive to do this. We're not going to buy it. We're going to buy it on Amazon. We're going to order the service. We're going to go down to Mexico on vacation and get, get our services done there if it's a service and not a product. But they're not going to be able to continue doing this. They're going to have to move to another state that doesn't have these government price controls that, that ruin it for everybody. This law has hurt this woman, this woman I care deeply about, and many, many, many hundreds of thousands of people like her are going to suffer, are currently suffering, are frustrated because of this horrible law that is allegedly meant to help people that at the low, are at the lower income bracket. Miserable, horrible law. If anyone is talking about instituting a minimum wage law in the area where you live, please, please move away. Don't try to influence them. They're going to do it. But please move to a place that's better and that actually cares about people that don't make a ton of money.